First of all, I love New York City and I love my community. So thank you for working with me over the last 20 years on important issues. Whether it's been as a civil rights attorney, a small business owner, or educator, I've shown I can stand up and deliver for our community. And I can do so in a community-minded, coalition-building spirit that I'll continue to bring to the halls of power. You think about some of the most difficult times that this community has had, and we've worked shoulder to shoulder together, whether that's the extension of term limits, whether that's Superstorm Sandy, or whether that's the closure of St. Vincent's Hospital. And I will continue to be that community-minded advocate for you in city government. When you go to the polls, you have a difficult decision to make. The decision is, is it your job to continue to make, uh, uh, I'm sorry, it's an, easy, it's an easy decision, and the decision is, is it your job to uh, make the special interests, and the real estate interests, and the political insiders comfortable with who the next elected official is, or is it your job to stand up for your community and to really elect somebody who you know in your heart of all hearts will be an advocate for you? I've continued to do that for over 20 years. You know the work that I've done, and I will continue that in city council in the halls of power. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different solution. We have a real opportunity here, but if you want something different, you have to be able to do something different. My name is Yetta Curlin, and I would be honored to stand up for you in the city hall. Thank you. Thank you, Yetta. Thank you, Corey. Uh, thank you, Lincoln. Thank you.